Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go! Season three set a new standard for what Tough as Nails was all about. Starting off at Camp Pendleton, where the Marines just opened the door for us, and it was great to have Murph back. So I feel like the pressure is really on us to bring it in season four. My wife and I love this show, and I have what it takes to actually win this competition. I think that this is a great opportunity to prove that I'm the best of the best in my tree. I've been a fan since season one, and I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity to prove how tough I am. Tough as Nails is not about building an obstacle course. It's about getting to real job sites. And this year, we start off with a bang by going off to Catalina. We're going to be heading to a tree nursery. They'll be doing some HVAC work. They're going to be doing some plumbing work. They'll be working in the sewers at some point. Oh, God. There's no room for tired. Tough as Nails is like a small microcosm of what America is. People from all different walks of life. General contractor. General construction. Concrete form setter. Diesel technician. A welder. An owner of a hardscape company. I believe that your sons have a nickname for you, which is? It's Highlighter. Highlighter. I wonder I why. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> they love what they do, and we're here to celebrate that. It's good to see the everyday working American get some credit for his or her job that keeps this country running so different than everything else that I, I've watched, and it's something that has truly sucked me in. The thousands and thousands of hours that go into making a one-hour show are well worth it when you know that the audience is connecting with the material. Strangers come together, work together, and get the job done, and that's what Tough as Nails is all about.